Hello again, and welcome to another video. Uh, this time, I am here kind of with a little check-in. This, um, I just wanted to make sure that I was ready to go, so I guess the main purpose of this is testing my recording again because I haven't been recording a ton, and the MetaQuest developer hub has changed a little bit in the way that I record. Um, they made it so that I can't use pass-through in when I'm casting using this mode, the cinematic mode in the MetaQuest developer hub, which is just really darn dumb. Um, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but uh, it just makes it really hard for me to sync up my audio, which is like a total separate thing that I do looking through pass-through to the, or sorry, my mic audio to the game audio. Uh, syncing that up is just more difficult now because I have to do like a thing where I, I like give myself a thumbs up right as I click the button, some weird thing like that. Um, but, oh well, um, I will deal with that. And yeah, so I'm, I'm here kind of with a check-in. I'll try to like update you on stuff that I've been doing, um, stuff that I plan to do, and uh, I guess this is like kind of a teaser to the upcoming episode with Quaker X, the developer once again. Um, well, sorry, one of the Dungeons of Eternity other great developers. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do another like, I guess, prequel to the update showcase. We're we're not actually doing a showcase. We're not on a new version, but we are gonna talk about what is coming with Dungeons of Eternity in that next video. But this video, I'm just gonna choose a random loadout. Um, I tend to like my poison, uh, or sorry, not poison specifically, but just my great swords. This great sword, poison unblockable, I think is the one I most recently got that is the best um, because it's pretty long and it's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, that's a very simple way to put it. Also, this one's probably the best if I didn't need unblockable, but because unblockable is just so invaluable to great swords, in my opinion, or long swords, I don't think I want this. But if I had stab and critical or stab and fire and unblockable, that would probably be the best sword. Maybe a little bit more damage, too. But yeah, um, what else? Yeah, so I guess this sword is probably the sword to do it. Um, wait, did I really? I really only have one page. I thought I had more. Thought for sure I had more. Is that my only unblockable? I'm pretty sure that I found another one. Maybe I'm just yeah making things up. Crazy. I mean, I might have found one that I just haven't like actually checked yet. But I'm pretty sure I've checked most of my great swords. Poison critical. Yeah. No, I, I think I just haven't found many unblockables yet. And you have you are seeing like I have found more great swords since I went on that great sword finding grind. But not a ton. I I have not been grinding this game as much as I did when I first started playing and when I first started making videos. Um, okay, I'm not going to do a save dungeon. I'm going to do a regular dungeon. And I guess these daggers are probably fine. Uh, <laughs> they look cool. I don't think they're the best daggers, but because they look cool, that's that's fine with me. I'm just going to stick with it. Um, it looks like one is just slightly longer than the other two. Is that just me? Or it looks like... No, I guess that was just me. I think they're the exact same length. But the handles are kind of different and obviously the color okay well aside from that uh let's get into it i don't have too much time here <laughs> i could do the smallest dungeon ever to exist which looks to be this one aside from that end room that end room looks pretty big um maybe i will i'll just do this because this doesn't have to be like a really fast or really long video um plus i might fail this like 10 times in a row so we gotta do what we gotta do um okay so yeah basically i've not been playing this game as much just because I, I kind of want to get into the scene of more VR games and test out what I'm I feel like I might be missing in this game what maybe should come in this game not that I'm a developer and can change anything but um, I, I just do like seeing other games and um, maybe if the developers do listen to me then uh, or at least like take some of my input put maybe I can give some pretty decent input, especially if I've got more experience, more than just playing this game. Um, yeah, and into this room. I'm really excited about the 
the quest news. Oh gosh, wow, I'm already like, oh, 88? That did not do much damage. I'm really excited about all the quest news to come. And, oh. Oh, the quest 3S coming up. I, I do keep up with uh, news pretty frequently, especially when it comes to VR news. Um, and so, wow, I already have three keys. That's incredible. Um, okay, I'll take the map. Well, I don't need the map. This is the smallest map I've ever seen. Yeah, we're good. Um, but yeah, so just seeing that the Quest 3S is going to come out soon, that is really exciting. And then the glasses that they're planning to make, Meta is planning to make, that seems really cool. And I'm going to try not to get killed by the spider. Okay, we're good. Um... Oh, shoot! Okay. Die, spider, die, spider. There we go. How much did that do? 60. That's that's a decent amount. And somehow I just blocked that. That's pretty sick. Oh. This does not do as much damage as, as I hoped. Okay, come on. Kill him. There we go. Oof, 35. Yeah, that that's some pain right there. Also, I feel like I'm not hearing any music. I think I, I put my music and my sound, uh, my interactions effect noise a little bit down. Um, and so it might be a little quieter than usual. I'm at 20, 20. Here, I'll just show the sound settings real quick. Sound settings, 20, 20, 100, which I think is the ideal settings for recording videos. But I could be wrong. Maybe I do need a little bit more sound effects. Um, and actually... I just like punched my mic, but I, I just turned up my volume. I don't think you, you actually see that. Um, but yeah, this this is better for me. Now I can actually hear stuff. Um, all right. Go into stuff. But yeah, the... Oh, I got to make sure I don't get killed by a frozen bat that spawns. I think I saw one right here. Yep. Oh, it is a frozen bat. Sick. Um, so... Yeah quest stuff it's looking pretty cool um and i am not just a quest or meta guy I, I do wish that at some point or hope that at some point other other companies get into the vr market especially the vr gaming market let's see if that's a mimic i don't think it will be but um and i think i did tier seven i'm pretty sure i did i'm, I'm doubting myself now though um, but yeah, I, I hope that we get some more headsets. I guess there's the, the Pico headset that just came out, the Chinese headset, but that's not going to come to America. So I have kind of written that off as, uh, as whatever. I, I think it's like the specs are slightly better than the Quest 3, but all the reviews are saying it's kind of terrible. So I'm not disappointed that I can't have access to it. Um, and it's a Chinese company that, oh, wow just knocked the thing out of my hand um but yeah it's a chinese company that doesn't seem super trustworthy in my opinion so uh, i don't have to don't have to worry about that one too much and obviously there's problems with meta too Whew. but oh gosh maybe i need to turn my volume down it's probably gonna be oh wow i just totally missed that um the volume might be <laughs> taking the uh in-game audio, and then you might also hear the in-game audio through my mic because it's too loud, so I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Trying to strike that balance is, is a tough thing to do, especially because they don't don't make it easy to record. MetaQuest Developer Hub doesn't record audio, so I have to have my separate channel. But hey, i got to stop the complaining and just make it work. Um, but yeah, actually, PCVR... So exciting. Um, this game is now on the Steam store, not for sale, but you can wishlist it. And so that basically means it's coming out that we're going to have that discussion. Uh, I'm going to have that discussion with Quaker X pretty soon. Um, and that's going to be exciting, especially for me recording, because I won't have to go through this MetaQuest developer stupid stuff. I can just record uh, straight from my PC and I don't have to like transfer files from my headset to my PC and like not have the audio and a bunch. Actually, it's the audio problem is probably going to stay there, but a bunch of other just really annoying stuff. Actually, I don't think the audio. Yeah, it, it should be good. Basically, my videos, I should be able to pump out more stuff a lot easier. So I'm excited for that. 
Um, and this is just, I guess, wishful thinking, but possible stuff as well. Um, and PCVR obviously is, is just a way to expand the player, player base and the possibilities within the game because you can do more graphically intensive things, um, more processing intensive things with PCVR VR than you can with the standalone uh, Quest 3 headset or Quest 2 headset, which most people are on. All right, I'm going to do this final battle, see if I can kill stuff. And let's get to it. Oh, yeah. Right off the bat. I'm in a little bit of a smaller play space right now, so um, if you see my boundary, that's uh, that's why. If you see it more than usual. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that they can't block me. But, see, the thing is, when when they do, when you hit their sword, it's still, it doesn't knock them back, it just, like, it stuns them briefly, like, basically if you hit them with a normal weapon. Okay. I gotta be careful of these ice dudes. Die, ice dude. It is still weird to me that I don't always get the knockback on these weapons. Um, okay. Ah, my sword! Come back. <laughs> Only sometimes I get knocked back. Okay, there we go. Urgh. Wow, I didn't even get hit. Huh. 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 Ow. That's painful. Less painful than I thought it would be, though. Ugh. Man, I thought that was that was gonna be so clean and satisfying, but I did get hit during that, and um, <laughs> one of the hits just didn't register. Oh my gosh! Ah! These spiders are annoying. Ow! No! Oh. Okay. Wow. Darn! Man, my my sword got caught, and oh, my hand is weird. Oh, that's his hand. Okay. Well, yeah, my sword sword got caught, and. Uh, that was the end of it, after I got hit by the web. I should have been more careful with the web. Just ran away. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should have ran to him. But, you know what? I'm saving it and doing it again. We're gonna, we're gonna beat this. This is, this is why I did the, the quick one. Also, I have definitely learned my lesson when it comes to the underworld that, like, the underworld is just the toughest because I can get frozen and I can get spider webbed and just being immobile in this game is an instant recipe for death so <laughs> um, vile halls again is going to be the easiest which I've I've kind of explained especially in that uh, whatever it's called the video um, what was the video excuse me uh, the, the, the tournament, the dungeon defense tournament. Right. So yeah, in the dungeon defense tournament, I kind of explained why Vile Halls is the best uh, best way to not die as, as the attacker, which as the attacker, it was good for me to choose, but as the defender, we always wanted the enemy to choose the other thing. Oh boy. Yeah, it's kind of weird how like, Sometimes if you just stand still, you can't really hit the enemy. Or maybe I just have to hit harder. I don't know. What am I? 73? We're good. Come on! Ow. <laughs> that was clean. Alright. Um, but yeah, so after playing this game called underdogs um i think i like the physics in that game a little bit better pretty similar to this game like the physics in this game are great but that game maybe it just works better because it's a mech brawler and that just oh my gosh whoa 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 i can't swing jeez yeah so those guys get up in my face and i could not <laughs> swing all right come on Oh, dude, seriously? No! Ugh. That is ridiculous. Yeah, so... Oh my gosh, what do I even do there? Like, I'm I'm doing a full swing. I think it's just... Ah! It's the clunkiness. 
this is what people mean. Like I, I always try to defend the great sword and that like it's a it's a good weapon and like Dungeons of Eternity then the d developers other gate they did a pretty good job with the way that they made the weapon. But when stuff like that happens, oh man, that's annoying. <laughs> like I should not be dying there. Half of my swings did not register. The fact that the spider doesn't get knocked back. What? Just why? Like, I, I know he's big, he's huge, but he's not a boss. He's still just an enemy. So, maybe, maybe that's something that they just overlooked and they meant for the spider to be knocked back. Um, or to be able to be knocked back, the big one. But then it just didn't. I don't know. But, yeah, that is it's quite annoying. And I'm going to do it this time. I guess I'll be a little bit more careful. Uh, no, I really... I don't want to be careful. I want to I wanna make it work. Make it work how I want to make it work. With the great sword. There we go. Alright. That is... It's doing the job. Was that everyone? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to gonna try to crush the enemies as quickly as possible okay so this is the room the spider room come here ice and so I thought that ice spiders weren't able to jump but I am proven wrong okay here we go oh what so what how come one shot kill okay they're just perfectly killing me oh come on man oh this is frustrating okay <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I said I don't have much time, but I, I've been getting killed so quickly that it's it's whatever. And like in this situation, it would be so easy if I just had a bow or a crossbow <laughs> and could shoot these guys. But because I just want to put myself through some pain, I'm doing it. And I really hope to to beat this. So, and this this video that I said was gonna be a check in has turned out more to be. Uh, me just failing a bunch of times, so that's fine. We'll leave it at that. Um, I'm really excited for dungeon assignments and challenges. I c always say that, keep saying that, and I keep hoping that it's going to come. Maybe it will. Uh, well, I, I almost guarantee that it will. But, uh, how soon, that's what I don't know. Hopefully it will be fairly soon. Oops, give me the key. Um, hopefully in the next update... I mean, I know they're doing PC VR. That's probably a huge task for them, especially because they want to make it really realistic. Uh, and that is not an easy feat. Ooh. Okay. So they have to, like, kind of build the game from the ground up is what I'm hearing. Oh, come on. Give me my freaking sword. Okay. Ow. He poked me. Come on. There we go. Yeah, no, it is... Ah, the great sword is just kind of clunky, um, may and maybe it just it, basically every weapon in tier seven difficulty feels a little clunkier because you can't just hit them once and strike right through them. It really does just feel cleaner when you can one hit kill enemies, no matter what the weapon is. Just being able to like cleanly strike through them is pretty great stuff. Um, oh man, Royal Rush inviting me to a quest. Um, you know what? I'm going to hop in. Um, I'm going to give up on this, this dungeon raid and see what I can do with Royal Rush. So I'll see you in there. Royal Rush. Hello. Oh my. What in the world? You got your audio, Royal? Or your mic? No mic? Uh, yeah. 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 Sick. Um, I was actually just recording a video, um, and so I am still recording, if that's okay with you. Um, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Uh, so, I'm about to have an interview type thing like a dungeon raid with quaker x again i don't know if you saw that video but um just like a discussion with the developer 
and he's he's got stuff that's coming to Dungeons of Eternity that we're obviously going to talk about. But do you have anything that I should ask that like you particularly want to hear? Um, no, not really. Okay, okay. Just doing your thing, enjoying the game, beating people in uh, in in the dungeon defense tournament. <laughs> Oh, what are we walking to? Oh, we got Tech, <laughs> Tech LX. How's it going? Oh no! Walk oh, into this. Walk into this. Man, uh, smell the axe. There we go. Oh man. Sick. Um, Tech LX, I am recording a video. How's it going, by the okay. way? Um, are you okay with being in a recorded video? Oh, yeah. Sweet. All good. All good. Sweet. Um, are you a friend of Royals, or did you just quick join here? I've played with Royal. I think I chatted with you on the, uh, the Souls. Oh, wait, are you, um, what's the with name? The, uh, Gravity Staff Guy. Gravity Staff Guy. Well, we were talking. I was talking about maybe using gravity staff in the next tournament. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, was that in the YouTube comments or was that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I remember YouTube that. Comments. Yep. Cool. Cool. Uh, yeah. See, we've been playing with it, and it looks very doable. Cool. Okay. The the gravity staff that is right. Yeah. We okay. were playing catch with the guys and throwing them in the other rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. I mean. I could see that being kind of viable, but at the same time, because you can it's just go into the other room. Well, yeah, I guess if you put, a, if you put them into the other room and kill them before anything really happens, it's a work in progress. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get that. <laughs> also, did you guys see this chest where it's like a mimic and not a mimic at the same time? Yes, I've seen it twice today. Okay, yeah, because I, I just saw that with the first chest that we were in here, and then this chest <laughs> as well. So I did not get it. That's weird. It threw me off. Same thing with the tier 3. It was weird. Huh. Interesting. Well. Uh, Royal, is this one of your like endless dungeons that's huge? Uh, yeah, kind of. Sweet. Well, I mean, obviously not endless, but uh, lots of chests. What does this have, like 14 chests? I think 18 around. 18, okay, <laughs> sweet. Yeah, just a normal. So here's a question that I was kind of curious about. Yeah. So with the damage, with uh, like stabbing, mm -hmm. like would axe, would that count as stabbing or melee? <laughs> it I heard it was counting chest, as so. stabbing. Really? Okay. I heard stabbing. I did you hear that from a dev or just from a player? Yes. Okay. That was coming from my chat with the Quaker X. Cool. Okay. Yeah. No. I I could believe that. That's that's interesting. Um, okay. Definitely not a question that I knew, but I believe you on that. Off we go. Um, and tech. So I, I am. Oh, wait. Go ahead, Royal. Uh, I do think I thought they fixed the the uh, shockwaves. Like the kills? Yeah. That's all you posted? Or was that something else? Yeah, no, they they did that a while ago, I think. Um, yeah, okay. I thought I just saw like a thread on Discord just recently. Yeah. I was like way behind on that. Yeah, no, I, I was posting about how fire and explosion and the other uh, area damage. Oh, I almost killed myself. Um, okay. how, how those things don't work still. But then I in that same thread, I mentioned that the Shockwave staff was fixed. So, okay. Yeah. I read it wrong. Gotcha. Um, all right, 25 health. Nice. Oh, I think I have the wrong exo perks. I'm pretty sure I'm using stillness right now. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, nice. Yeah, because I was using the teleport locomotion in the tournament, and uh, stillness was the way to go for recovering health. And then that would explain, I, I was just doing a, a dungeon solo before I joined here, and I was just getting destroyed very quickly by, uh, like, I think spiders, <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> but, like, yeah. th those huge spiders just don't die by greatswords easily, so I, I just kept getting killed. And 
I think if I had the right stats, I think the critical exo perk, I probably would have been fine. But oh well. Me and Neo just made a video of using only staffs to complete a dungeon. You you said you did that or? Yeah, with Neo. Oh cool. It went surprisingly well. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, staffs in a tier seven, I'm guessing. Yeah. Cool. And then we use just the melee staff. Nice. Um. Yeah, I. <laughs> you use just the melee stuff. Do you ever upload those yeah. videos to YouTube, Royal? Uh, no. No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, because, like, I know that video, that one video that you sent me, um, or said, like, maybe add that to the playlist. The playlist that I had for that tournament was a YouTube playlist, so it just, it wasn't easy to put it in there. But if you do want to okay. send me, if you want to send me videos that I can upload to YouTube and then put them in the playlist, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, but yeah, so... Whatever you want to do, or if you want to... Is there a reason that you don't post to YouTube, particularly? Yeah, just I'm not familiar with it. Okay, yeah, if, if you want me to help you get familiar with it, I'm more than happy to help. Um, okay. But yeah. There's... I have a whole video on how to record with the MetaQuest, and I guess, like, part of that is helping to upload it to YouTube, but... Not specifically, okay. so. You have to check it out. Oh, I got one right here. Sweet. Also, I have unlimited yeah. music playing. Like, the music has just been playing since I joined. Is that something that you guys are hearing? That's fine. Yeah, I am too, actually. You are? Okay. Doesn't bother me now. Yeah, it doesn't really bother me, but it is just weird. Oh. Sweet. Um, so tech, I was actually just telling Royal before we, before you joined, that I am about to do another dungeon raid interview type video with Quaker X. And okay. yeah, do you have any questions? I mean, he's basically going to review what's coming and like there's... PC VR is coming pretty soon because it's already on Steam, um, not available but wish list. And there's like there's some other stuff that's coming that obviously we're gonna get to. But do you have anything in particular that you would like me to ask him? Besides maybe my opinion, you know, I think he's already answered it. But being able to if those potions will be saved in the patch. Oops. Um. What having like a storage that you can? Yeah, so you don't have to keep wasting, you know. Yep. Gold. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he he did answer that they were working on that, but yeah, I can. I'll I'll have to follow up on him about that. That's a good question. Gosh, I'm stuck. Um. But okay, yeah, I, that's I, about it. I mean. Okay. Yeah, I mean that is a huge one that like it seems like a little tiny quality of life improvement, but I think it'll be mm -hmm. it'll be pretty pretty huge for just like player retention because a lot of people just they'll play or, the game once and realize like oh i don't keep my stuff i don't want to play anymore so or i wonder if they'll do like a monthly um you know like let's say kill count or monthly kill count oh yeah yeah that would be all yeah well so they have definitely talked about uh, more granularity with the leaderboards as well and like just different types of leaderboards yeah, I don't know when those are coming either, so that's also a good thing that I'd I'd like yeah. to follow up about. Some incentive? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm always, always for some more incentive. And uh, I don't know if I have had that incentive-type discussion with Quaker X yet, but definitely worth a, worth a shot to ask him about that. I'll tell you what, they're uh. really quick on, on answering questions, though. And... Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're they're pretty um, on the Discord. I have no complaints on that. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, it's another mimic and a chest at the same time. <laughs> that is so weird. Um, it seems like the matching is going pretty good too, because on my lower alts, I'm getting matched up with lower levels as oh, opposed sweet. to higher tier. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't really play with an alt account. Uh, much. I've done it like once or twice, and when I do, it's usually with a friend that's already there. So, I don't, I don't get to see that in action. But that's <laughs> that's cool to, cool to hear. Maybe they're changing that in the back end somehow without us knowing. 
but uh i know there was also an update that happened um i think there was there was like a couple gigabytes of an update that just randomly occurred and just a couple. Yeah, just just a couple mm. gigabytes, and and like nobody knew what it was, or I don't think the developers mentioned anything about it. And only a few people, I'm pretty sure, had to update. Oh. Like I don't remember updating, but I just remember hearing people say they had this update <laughs> out of nowhere. Ah, uh, and I'm thinking like maybe that's got something to do with it. But well, you do some know. great videos, man. I mean, I think you're probably one of the few I follow, though. You actually did a really great job on on starting it off. Thanks, thanks, yeah. So, props to you on that, man. Because I know it's not easy rendering all these videos. Yeah, no, it's... and, and the, <laughs> It's a lot of time. Quest does not make it easy to record. Um, they are pretty uh, pretty awful when it comes to making it easy. <laughs> so, yeah, no, but I, I definitely... I kind of felt like when I started... Uh, recording that there's just there's nobody that really was recording so I just figured hey I'll, I'll just be that guy that records and uh, well she, you definitely got the head start that's for sure yeah yeah and I, I have a feeling that like more people will come to the scene as it gets easier to record and and like there's less bugs and issues that you got to work through because yeah. yeah there's quite a few of them but nothing that can't be worked around. Yeah, ex exactly. But the, I mean, just that little amount of work around causes people to, like, you just have that little bit more of a barrier to entry that it just makes it so that people don't want to do it, <laughs> and then they just don't. Don't jump so. on that rock. <laughs> yeah. Don't go behind those barrels. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I'm I'm glad I started doing it, and it's it's really cool that I I get to talk to the developers I mean, and. I'll tell you what, though. I mean, that's what got me into the game. I was able to follow follow you and and get a get a hold on how how to play the game. Sweet, that's good and to hear. I loved how you did the uh, all the weapon mechanics and stuff. I appreciate it. Yeah. I still still think the long sword's got some work to do. Oh, definitely. Yeah, just <laughs> the the last game that I was playing with the long. Oops. <laughs> The okay. I'm just taking a shortcut. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. But yeah, the last game <laughs> I was playing that I was telling you about, I was dying to that spider was just because of the longsword. If I had any other weapon, if it was like a bow or a crossbow or even just like daggers. I mean, the daggers, I don't know, but uh basically anything else I would have been fine, but because it was just like this janky longsword, it did not work. So, <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's definitely got some work. Um, but I I really think that they need to go a little bit further into magic. Um, cause, like, they've got staffs, and the staffs are pretty cool. But th there's just there's so many possibilities with magic when it comes to VR that they, it just doesn't seem like they're really taking advantage of, of everything it's that you based. can do. The bar set pretty high on this game compared to my other VR game. Oh, yeah. Really high. Yeah, totally. You got a full body to look at, not a half a body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, and and the the combat, like even though, I mean, obviously, I'm saying like they they could do more with magic and stuff like that. The physical combat is just like best in class. Like I, I like this game. I love it. Have you can dodge axes and throw items at you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The physics base is just it's so good. And like, have you played Battle Talent or any other like blade and sorcery no, that I have type? Not. So that's like the, I guess, competition to this game, even though they're pretty different. Um, but a lot of people play that because really? they think it's super hyper-realistic. And honestly, I think it's even worse because they're trying to make realism with non-real. Like, we don't have weapons in our hands. We don't have the physics in front of us. We can't actually uh, roam around okay, the room. And so, yeah, they're, they're trying to, like, build in, like, drag in their weapons, artificial drag, and all this artificial real stuff uh, that... Uh, in my opinion, makes it yeah. worse, but in many other people's well, opinion, apparently they love it. So you might want to edit this out. You know, they're not gonna like you hearing that. <laughs> Down playing their game. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what? Like if if other people are well, like the other developers. What? Do, <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'll lock a loss, these guys. Oh, ah. like a loss. Oh. Yeah, I do. Another slight issue is I, I do get some some decent lag when I'm recording and doing three-person multiplayer. 
which oh, yeah i was wondering about that yeah that's, it's definitely that's a good system there yeah it's it's definitely not a big issue for the majority of people because they don't record but for me like the fact that pcvr is coming out is huge for me because i just won't really have performance issues i won't really have recording issues because pcvr just makes it so much mm -hmm. easier but who knows Let me ask you this. do you got do you got a pretty good battery pack like, yeah, yeah. No, I, I never have battery issues because yeah, I have the Bobo VR uh, or the Bobo M3 Pro, I think it's called. So that makes it easy. Oof. Yeah, and I'm I'm like I'm recording or sorry, I'm lagging so much here. Add me there. Are you guys basically frozen like I am right now, or is that just me? Ah. Uh. Um, I can't tell just yet. No, I'm fine now, but like, yeah, just, just going into that room, there was so much, so much lag there. And I wonder if that translates to my recording. You'll have to see, like, maybe see this video later and see if it, see if my I lag was visible. No, I couldn't tell. Yeah. Well, and, and you couldn't tell if you had lag either, right? No, I, I mine would just say disconnected. It's like fail proof. I, I can't miss it. Okay. Well, I, I meant <laughs> not like network lag, but more like FPS lag. Yeah. Did Did you have that royal? Is that what that was? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. We're going going this way. Uh oh. Oh, my favorites. <laughs> yeah. Really. Key. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, speed. Whew. So, Royal, do you play any other VR games fairly consistently, or is it mainly just this game? Yeah, mainly this. Mainly this. Okay. Yeah, I think I've I've seen you hop on other games here and there, but not nearly as much as the dungeons. Yeah, but now and then I play Rec Room. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I hear that's a pretty good game. Uh, on, social experience, but um, I've never tried that personally. I've tried VR you chat. Know, and... things. It's just the simplicity of the game. It's like there's not too much instruction. In this game or Rec Room? Yeah, yeah no, in this game. Yeah, yeah, no, I totally agree. And I mean, there, there's so oh. much, there's a ton of complexity if you like get down to it. But yeah, just going into the game, it is... Like you don't have to learn a ton. You kind of just swing, and it's it's natural. So yeah, I got a little ten-year-old daughter. She picks it up like a natural. It's unreal. Yeah, that is awesome. I mean, and VR in general, I feel like is just so much easier for kids to pick up because it is like more of a human experience than using a keyboard. <laughs> so you are so right. Yeah, and you nailed it. It is exciting stuff. I am definitely a VR. You've been making videos diehard. a while, then, yeah. Um, yeah, since, it's, I think it's almost been a year. I mean, I've I've kind of made videos with other stuff and, like, PC games in the past and just some other random mm -hmm. stuff. But, yeah, if you if you dug into my YouTube, I think the oldest might be three years. And then I really started picking it up with Dungeons of Eternity, like, nine months ago, I think. Uh, okay. So. Yep. <laughs> Oh, where yeah, are we? I had no idea about this game. I ran across one of your videos. I was like, man, it looks pretty fun. Cool. Yeah. I'm, sold me on it. I'm glad. Oh, okay, there's Royal. I was <laughs> I was confused. Uh, it's good to have Royal as our guide in this endless, confusing dungeon. Uh, yeah, I can't keep up with him 90% of the time, so I have to <laughs> let him do his thing. Yep, yep. That's fair. He's got a new look every time I've seen him now. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Yes, sir. Key, key, key. Oh, hey, wait. I'll tell you what I, I was impressed by. That healing staff. This guy used this healing staff like no other, and I think it's so underrated. Yeah. I... What, in that, like, he just I mean, did... I don't know. What, what do you mean by, like... How is I mean, it underrated? I didn't know that it would. It can unfreeze. Like, mm. You're frozen. It can unfreeze you. Poison. Get you out of the poisons. Um, That's a new thing, actually. You can heal from. 
you can heal from the other side of the dungeon. I mean, that is, yeah, that's oh, from the other side, like yeah, no matter how far you are. Ooh. Yay, we get a. Did you guys get this mimic? Yep, I saw him. Okay, because <laughs> it's it is so glitched out. Wait, that's a double mimic, isn't it? That's what it looks like. Okay, there we go. Yeah, look, see up here and down there. What in the world? Oh, what? Look, I got double choice here. Yeah, no, I I do too. This is too cool. <laughs> that happened before. That's freaking awesome. Long sword. Yeah, I wonder if this actually gives us double weapons. Legendary. It did. I got two. Two choices. I did. I did Other too. But I just. I wonder if it like actually translates to giving it to us at the end. Uh, okay. Yeah. I get what you're saying. But now. I was also. I was able to open the chest after choosing two weapons, which is just insane. <laughs> That's. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know how much of a bug that is. Seems pretty buggy to me. Oh, nice. Sweet. Too good. Right. Uh. But yeah, Tech, what uh what games do you come from? Like what would you play before Dungeons of Eternity? <laughs> oh wow. That's what I played was WoW World of Warcraft actually. Oh cool. Sweet. And before that was EverQuest. Okay. Yeah, I'm 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 I'm, a, I'm up there in my age. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I I mean, I, I totally should have played WoW at some point. I don't know why I didn't. I guess there were just other MMOs that seemed... Wait, how did you... Royal, did you just, like, uh, throw the resurrection potion before you died? Is that what you did? Yes, okay, he's yeah. done that. I've seen that. Good timing. Or, or oh, oh yeah, so, cause... what, Royal, were you holding it open just in case you died, and then because you died it dropped and rezzed you is that exactly what happened yeah okay sweet you know i learned that i doing a dungeon with royal one time i saw him do that i was like okay i gotta figure out how he did that <laughs> and i was like so i used the res thing and let him kill me and I came right back to life. yeah yeah that's it's all in the time though. that's pretty sweet that's pretty sweet well, I mean, but it's good. I guess you mastered that, though. Yeah, and and it's not too much timing if you just have to hold it when it's open, right? Like, I mean, I guess you have to know when you're low and know whether to hold it out or not. But and when you know you're gonna die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if if you know you're one hit away and you just you want to keep going for it. And what in the world is happening over uh, here? Oh yeah. See, he, I don't know. <laughs> See, that's his trick. I love it. It's. <laughs> He's just endlessly falling. Are you okay? Oh, okay. Bye, Royal. <laughs> cool. Well, um, it was fun. Oh, man. And. Uh, yeah, JJ. Yeah. I enjoyed it, man. Good playing yeah, with you. <laughs> yep. I, I, yeah, I'll look out for the video, Kes. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The, this video, and then pretty soon there will be the uh, developer video as well. So. Yep, look out for those. All right, no worries. And then, and soon we'll be able look to. Look forward to it. Yeah, ho hopefully we'll yeah. be able to actually handshake and fist bump, and they'll add those interactions oh, at some point. Because oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, and they're <laughs> they're adding that social hub coming up pretty soon, so I have a feeling they're gonna add some yeah. social elements too. But we'll see. Like in the social hub, I mean, it's like like the whole entire community. You think? Uh, it no. I think it's people. like probably gonna be around eight people. I, I think that's what Quaker oh. X said, but that's also kind of the standard for other VR games is eight people, oh. which... I, like the 60-level room, the uh, 40 and under room, the 20 and under room, maybe? Maybe. I think it's more of just a space to get together with people and, like, hang out before you go into the dungeons. And there, there's going to be, like, little yeah. mini games and activities that you can do in that social hub. Um, I can't so. wait. I saw that list, you know, of all the upcoming events. That's going to be killer. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Because I don't want to get burnt out on it too soon. That's why I was playing around with my other one. Yep. My other character. Yep. But after seeing that, I'm like, heck yeah. Sweet, sweet. All right. Well, JJ, I enjoyed it, man. Keep up those videos, too. That's Those are freaking so amazing Thanks. and helpful. Appreciate it. Yeah, I always love right. to hear that. And Royal, good seeing you. Good seeing you float around and doing whatever <laughs> the heck you do. Are, are you even there, Royal? Oh, the world is...
That's... Yeah, I, I guess not. Maybe, maybe he is literally just lagging out. Uh, look, I don't. Uh, I don't know if he's intentionally he's doing firework, that or human firework. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I think that's intentional, but who knows? He's that was. That was he's a funny. mysterious guy, but uh. <laughs> Cool. Well, yeah, I'll see you around tech and uh, peace out. Peace out, JJ.